scouts. All right, Hawk, uh, let's use your tweet there to kick off your top 10 wide receiver fits following this draft. How does that look for you? Yeah, I, I mean, I, I got a good list of receivers. This is a deep wide receiver class. Um, you know, I got Jalen Waddle was my number one fit uh, for a lot of reasons, which we'll get into. Jamar Chase, who was the most talented receiver in the draft. I have him as fit number two. There's a couple of reasons there that we can talk about. Elijah Moore down the line there. I really like Rondell Moore in, in the Arizona offense and his fit in between A.J. Green and uh, D-Hop. So there's a lot of players there, and I think that it was a, a receiver-heavy draft, yep. and a lot of teams cashed out. No question. Let's start right there at the top with Jalen Waddle joining his former college teammate Tua Tunga Vailoa. What do you love about this combo? Mm. Well, number one, the former teammates. That chemistry matters, and we've seen that theme with a couple of the draft selections. But number two is he's an explosive player who is a route runner. And I feel like in this day and age of the NFL and the passing game, the route runners, the guys who come in who are advanced in the route running, understand head, eyes, change of direction, changing up the way that things were typically done, are the ones who do better earlier. Think of OBJ. Think of uh, Justin Jefferson. The reason why they did so well is because they're already refined in separating in man-to-man -man coverage. And that's what I think is special about Jalen Waddle. Yeah, Hawk, I, I love that combination. And you missed your error because I timed you when you came out. You weren't 4-3, so you should have just been born a little bit later. But anyway, my th my definite go-to is Jamar, is Jamar Chase going back with Joe Burrow. Although Tua and Waddell played together, there was nobody in history that had a season like when Burrow and Chase were together. And you've got, you know, where Burrow won the Heisman. He set all kinds of records. Chase averaged 21 yards a catch for, for 20 touchdowns. So not only did they just play together, they may have had the most prolific season of a quarterback and receiver ever. And I, I expect that to continue there in Cincinnati. Hawk, back to some of these fits that you really liked. Uh, the Giants had uh, the top three wideouts go off the board before they were on the clock at number 11. They trade back and still get a talented dude, Hawk and Kadarius Toney from Florida. Love Kadarius Toney. Uh, we talked about it earlier. He's a guy that gets the ball in his hand and the magic happens. For a quarterback like Daniel Jones, who is young, we still have some questions, right? We don't know exactly what we have in Daniel Jones yet. For Kadarius Toney, you could throw him the long bomb. You could throw him uh, intermediate routes. You could throw him third level routes. It doesn't matter. Give him, get him a screen and he'll go get the yards, go get the yak, go get the special plays. And that's what the Giants need. It's the perfect fit for him. Yeah, Hawk, yeah, you, you and Mark nailed it with Kadarius. And what I love about him is he used to play quarterback. And he actually worked out with Daniel Jones when he was, you know, down there in the quarterback country at a little quarterback camp. And, and I think they have some chemistry. So that's really cool that, you know, we see all these teammates coming together. But now this is a little bit outside the box. So I love what he does. But also because of what Mark laid out, a guy that you can just get the ball out of your hands and into his hands and see what he can do with it and kind of maybe bump up that completion percentage for Daniel so he doesn't hold the ball as long, help the offensive line out, help the run game out, helps everybody. I love the pick. Tony on the all-separation team of the wide receivers in this class. He can get open in a hurry. Way to work there, uh, Hawk and guys. All right.